I'm Kate Hayes. I work in advocacy communications at Bear. And today with me is my son, Kellen, who's 11 and also one of my new colleagues right now. He's been helping me do some interviews with scientists for our Science at Home series. And today we're gonna talk to one of our entomologists at Bear Crop Science. Somebody who knows a lot about bugs and insects, which I think is a topic that most kids are pretty interested in, right? Correct. All right. Well, let's learn some more about bugs. Uh, Dr. Krishna Bayaridi, hi. How are you guys? Hi, Kate. I'm good. Thank you. And it looks like you have a colleague there with you. Who's this? That's right. I have a six years old, my daughter. She's a kindergartner. And what's your name? Crazy. Hi, Kriti. Well, thank you for joining our talk today. Um, I'm going to let Kellen ask some questions about bugs, and maybe he'll have a question for you too. But Kellen, what do you like? Would you like to know about bugs today? First, I'd like to know, Brady, what exactly is an entomologist, and what do you do in the scientific fields? That's a good question. A lot of people ask me. The scientist who studies about the bugs, right? In insects, it's called an entomologist. A lot of people call them as a bugs, right? Sometimes people call me, I'm a bug scientist. I'm okay with that. In a science at a Bayer, um, I am an entomologist. I work on a developing a, a new tools to control bad bugs and help good bugs in protecting our crops. What determines if a bug is good or bad? Like as an entomologist, right? For really, I don't have a really good bug and bad bug. All are good. But when you relate to humans, right? The, 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 uh, the bugs we eat, eat on our food plants, the damage our houses, the one which uh, annoy our livestock or spread the disease causing germs, then it becomes a bad bug. Otherwise in the nature, they serve as a food in a food chain. You may have learned in the school food chain, like for example, mosquito, they are really bad. But their larvae are food for so many aquatic animals, which is a very good. And a termite, can I get that? And look at this one, right? And the termite, when it damages our house or our uh, schools, which is bad. In a nature, in the forest, it is breaking down the dead plants and converting them back into nutrients to the plants, which is really good. So really compared to humans, we have a good and bad bugs, but of course we have a lot of good bugs which pollinate, which uh, clean our environment, which protects our uh, plants by eating on bad bugs, and uh, uh, insects which make a honey, silk, which help us. And there are so many other insects which help us in uh, every day. Bad bugs, I guess scientists are always looking for a way, in the bad way, to control them so they don't hurt humans and they don't hurt homes and everything. And the good bugs, too. They want to make sure the bad bugs don't hurt the good bugs. Right. That's a really good point. That makes my job as an agronomic solution manager at Bayer, which is very interesting. I always focus on how we can control the bad bugs while protecting the good bugs. So, Creedy, what's your favorite type of bug? My favorite bug is a monarch butterfly. And which one, whichever is the back wings have the dots, is is a is a boy butterfly. With whichever does not have dots is a girl butterfly. Wow! Did you know that? No, I never knew that much about monarch butterflies. That's really great. Bayer invests a lot of time and resources around the globe to teach kids, especially next generation farmers, on about the good bugs, bad bugs, and so many science activities. Please look at our Bayer website, also social media. There are a lot of good content for kids you can read and enjoy. Those are really good tips. Thanks so much for reminding everyone about the resources that we have online. And thanks so much for joining us, both of you. And we appreciate everyone who keeps tuning into our Meet a Scientist series. It's so good to learn more about what our scientists do.
We hope you'll tune in again next time. Thanks and goodbye.